In good Queen Bess's golden day, the Spanish did aspire to set their flag upon this sceptred isle, but they'd reckoned without Drake, who on the day turned out to be a loyal and dedicated anglophile. He finished off his game of bowls up to anchor and gave chase. It didn't take him long to rout the foe. Of course men died, they always do when enemies are faced, but sadly that's the way things often go. Lord Nelson led another fleet to victory and died, so another generation was secure. They'd hardly got him buried when the Duke of Wellington was forced to go and fight another bloody war. There's a boy lies dead and buried in the mud of Flanders Field with a million of his mates for company. The keep his grave quite nice, but with the best will in the world, it's not the place that he'd have chose to be. His mother never saw the place he's rested all these years. God knows the grief she felt when news arrived. She'd three more serving out there, Bob and Jack and Charlie too. Would any of them come back home alive? Twenty-nine years later, a machine gun rattled forth and tore the life from Henry Edward Ames. He left a pretty missus and a brood of four young kids and a war memorial that bears his names. A thousand years of this we've had with men going off to war to keep successive enemies at bay. There's corners of some foreign field in scores and scores of lands where British bones lie buried in the clay. But all that doesn't matter now, a new arrangement's made. They've dug a damn great hole to let them in. It's called the Channel Tunnel, and it's all respectable. Our former foes are now our kith and kin. But when the day of reckoning arrives, and come it must, and the politicians meet the men who died, how will this treason be explained to soldiers turned to dust? How will their sacrifice be justified? Glib talk will be the order of the day, it always is. They'll remonstrate with questioning so rash. But you can bet your soldiers' boots they'll not let on the truth that it's all to do with making lots of cash. <laughs>